The Shape of the World by A. E. Skellum. On this subject, there are two great schools of thought, one which teaches that the world is a globe of 25,000 miles circumference, rotating on its axis once in 24 hours at the rate of 1,000 miles per hour, and revolving in an orbit round the sun once a year at the rate of 68,000 miles per hour. The other teaches that the earth is a vast irregular plane, stretched out from the central north and standing in and out of the waters, the surface of which is horizontal. One of these two views must be wrong, and the other right. Now, that the world cannot be a globe will be evident from the following facts. 1. The horizon always appears on a level with the eye, no matter to what altitude we ascend. Aeronauts assert that the horizon, HH in figure 1, always appears on a level with the car, and that it, the horizon, seems to rise as they rise, the deepest part appearing to be immediately under the car, and that, instead of the surface of the earth appearing convex, as it should if it were a globe, see figure 2, it appears concave, as in figure 1. Figure 1 represents what is seen by aeronauts. Figure 2, what should be seen if the Earth were a globe. Perspective shows that parallel lines appear to meet in the distance, as, for instance, railway lines, but diverging lines never can appear to meet, no matter how slight the divergence. If AB, figure 3, represent the skyline, and CED, a part of the Earth's surface, if curved, the Earth would appear to be curved from C to E to an observer at A and the horizon, instead of being on a level with the eye, would always be below and sink lower the higher the observer ascended. 2. The horizon at sea, to the right and left of an observer, always appears as a straight line. But if the world were a globe, it, the horizon, would dip to the right hand and to the left and show the arc of a circle. If a plank or straight edge, about 12 feet long, be set level above the water, and the observer get at the back of the plank or straight edge so that his eye be on a level with it, he will see the horizon as a perfectly straight or horizontal line. 3. The lights from many lighthouses are visible at a much greater distance than they could possibly be if the world were a globe 25,000 miles in circumference. The flame of the Clare Island light can be seen in clear weather a distance of 31 statute miles. The dip in 31 miles is 640 feet, the altitude of the light above high water is 341 feet, and is seen from the deck of a vessel 15 feet above sea level. 640 minus 341 minus 15 equals 284. After deducting the altitudes, the light should be 284 feet below the horizon if the world be a globe. Beachy headlight can be seen 26 statute miles away. The dip in 26 miles is 450 feet, altitude of light above high water 284 feet, vessel 15 feet. The light should be 151 feet below the line of sight if the globular theory of Copernicus be true. Cromer light is 274 feet above high water and can be seen a distance of 26 statute miles, vessel 15 feet above high water. The dip in 26 miles is 450 feet less altitudes, 450 minus 274 minus 15 equals 161 feet, leaves 161 feet to be accounted for if the world be a globe. There are many examples similar to the foregoing. The following note in the Admiralty list makes the case all the stronger against the globular theory. Quote, Under certain atmospheric conditions, and especially with the more powerful lights, the glare of the light is visible considerably beyond the radius given, which is calculated for the actual flame of the light. 4. No allowance is made by engineers for curvature in making canals and railway cuttings, and is in fact forbidden by Act of Parliament, which states that all plans shall be made from, quote, a datum horizontal line which shall be the same throughout the whole length of the work, unquote. If the earth were a globe, this allowance would be indispensable. 5. The surface of standing water has been proved beyond all question of doubt to be horizontal and not convex, as it should be if the world were a globe. Water always finds its level, the surface of which, at rest, is always found to be horizontal. A convex surface is not a level or horizontal surface.
although some people would have us believe it is. 6. The midnight sun being seen only in the northern regions is evidence against the globular theory. If the world were a globe, the midnight sun would be seen in the southern regions in December as it is seen in the northern in June. The author of a book entitled The Land of the Midnight Sun says, quote, At the pole, the observer seems to be in the center of a grand spiral movement of the sun. Why does this not occur in the southern regions? These few facts alone are sufficient to prove that the world is not a globe, but a vast irregular plain stretching out from a north center to a south circumference in every direction, surrounded by water and ultimately in the extreme south by impassable barriers of ice. Vasco da Gama, in his Voyage to the South, says, The waves rise like mountains in height. The winds are piercing cold and so boisterous that the pilot's voice can seldom be heard, whilst a dismal and almost continual darkness adds greatly to the danger. How far this gloom and darkness and storms extends is not known. All we know is that the most daring have been stopped at the entrance to this gloomy and what seems to be forbidden region of the world. If these lines cause any to think and search after truth, the writer's object will have been attained. Truth is not injured by enquiry and test, but is like a cube, always right side up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.